one. I think we got a few minutes. So. Yeah, a minute. yeah, we got a couple minutes. Let me tell the story. So look, we was uh, we was just on tour with Erica Badu, right? And Erica Badu. Oh my uh, gosh. Like- no, no, no. That, that ain't even the, that ain't even the crazy. Hold on. First of all, that is a crazy part, ain't that? Ain't that insane? Yeah. yeah. So we on tour. We on tour with Erica Badu, uh, uh, Most Deaf, uh, Talib Kweli. Uh, no, not Talib Kweli. Yassin, I don't know why I said Yassin that. Yassin Yassin Bay. Bay. Yeah, I don't know why I said Talib Kweli. Because yeah. every time I see them, I usually see them together. All right. So we was on tour with uh, Yassin Bay, Erica Badu, and then in Nashville. Um. I think the day before, the day after the show, she was DJing at Soho House. And me and Fat were there just chilling in the cut, in the corner, eating our little food. You know, Fat liked to sip a little bit. You know, Fat liked to sip a little bit. So Erica Badu started playing songs, right? Just playing random songs that she liked. And I think she played her song that she got with Andre 3000. Now look, I didn't went a long mm. way to tell to to uh, th- I didn't told the story for uh I didn't went the long route telling this uh, uh story, but I'm only telling the story because when she started playing that song with Andre 3000, it got to the part where it was like, uh, don't change, don't change, squirrel. You remember you know that part of that song? Mm-hmm. You know, I, it started playing that song, and I almost started crying because I just started thinking about, yo, I really love this woman and i feel bad for people who don't really get to experience love like this somebody who really wow love you and you love them 100 percent, and y'all just ready to go to the ends of the earth and until really until death do you part together and i just started thinking about it i was like man a lot of people are hearing this and they chilling in here and they uh they ain't really got nobody like that right now but i'm like man this is such a phenomenal feeling I am 100% with this woman and this feels so good. Right. It feels so I, good. That's beautiful. Yeah, it really was. Yep, but I just felt like telling you that. I don't know why. No, I appreciate that. Trust me, and I recently met Erica Badu and yeah, that, that was a beautiful oh, story. Best. Yeah, she the best. She is. Um, real quick, just definitely want to touch on the Transformers. Um, First of all, how did you learn how to act? Uh, I'll be honest with you. I just don't have a like any fear like that. Over the course of my life, I've literally like eliminated uh, fear. And I don't move in fear. And I think playing football in front of thousands of people uh, for so long and not wanting to get embarrassed and showing up as my best self as an athlete uh, really helped me be able to perform in front of people and not feel no type of way. So acting is way different from lining up as a linebacker and having to tackle people in front of thousands of people, in front of thousands of people, and I get ran over and I get physically embarrassed. So like saying Take words that. and using your gift of gab and charisma and stuff like that is a little less less uh, challenging than having to play linebacker in front of thousands of people. Wow. And how did it feel to be handpicked for that movie? Absolutely insane. I feel like all the stories, uh, as it pertains to how certain things have happened, like getting a role in a blockbuster film like French, uh, like uh, Transformers, is insane because the director asked Paramount to reach out to me directly, wow. and I never, I had never met him, and we weren't cool before that. Wow. So I felt like that was just like absolutely insane and being nominated for a grammy did that spark your acting bug even more on set <laughs> hell no i oh. just hear you say being nominated for a grammy that just sounds insane yeah that just sounds insane because i'm independent i've 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 been doing this the way in which i feel like i should do it for the entirety of the time that i've been doing it and to be now i couldn't i couldn't even fully understand or believe that they really nominated me for a Grammy. I didn't even know. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't like, you got to submit all your stuff. But even when I submitted my stuff, I'm like, ah, I don't think it's really going to happen like that. They got a lot of people to choose from. Right. How did it feel to be nominated coming from the SWAT? Ah, the best. It felt incredible. 
it felt incredible because it's never happened to because it's it's really like it's really like the little fish big pond stuff it really i really feel like me being nominated for a grammy for a grammy out of out of the swat shows people that you can literally come from anywhere and make something happen it's never been done for nobody mm -hmm. that's from here like all right cool boom we're here definitely uh real quick last question do you have any goals for yourself now uh yeah uh raise my children uh uh to to be world changers like they're supposed to be and lo love my wife until i die yeah hopefully we could go out like the notebook oh that's beautiful thank you so much for your time i really appreciate it do you mind if i take a screenshot real quick oh come on let me let me pause Perfect. Thank you, love. Right. I appreciate you. All right. Appreciate you. Peace. Have a good rest of your day. Bye. All right.